So this is where we are going to do the guided practice. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a copy of the practice. Um, once you've done that, you can either print it out and work directly on the paper, or you can just use a blank piece of paper to solve the problems. You're going to complete each problem of the guided practice, pause the video before the solution is given, and try to solve each problem. Unpause it if you get stuck or to check if you are correct. Here we go. This is the gutted practice for lesson 10-6. There's only one problem here for uh, this lesson, so we're going to walk you through this one. And then it suggests that we look at the visual learning problem and see if we can explain how those three students were able to explain their work. So the problem is 624 plus 248 and what they're using is an open number line. You do not have to use an open number line if this is not your preferred method of solving the problem. This is just an example of how to explain the work. So what the problem is is 624 plus 248. This person starts at 624 and then adds the two hundreds. And the reason behind that is because there's a two in the, in the hundreds place. Then add four tens. One, two, three, four. And that gets us to 864. We added four tens because there was a four in the tens place. The, um, now it says count on six to get to 870. So we count on six to get to 870 because 864 plus six is 870. We're just making it easier to solve. And then we're going to add the extra two. So then add two more to reach 872. The jumps add up to 248, which is the number that we are adding. So this is just one example. This is the first student's solution in the visual learning. And she's using an, an open number line. Um, all we have to do is give an explanation as to how it works. So Lauren started with 257 because it is the largest add-in. In 126, there is a one in the hundreds place. So Lauren makes one jump of 100 to get to 357. In 126, there is a two in the tens place. Lauren makes two jumps of 10 to get to 377. In 126, there is a six in the ones place. Lauren makes two hops of three because three plus three equals six. So 377 plus three is 380. That makes the number easy uh, to solve. And then add the, the other three to get to 383. She ends at 383. That is Lauren's way of solving it. So this is Nate's place value blocks. Nate draws the place value blocks for both add-ins. So here is 257, and on the bottom is 126. He starts adding the ones place value first. So 7 plus 6 equals 13. He exchanges 10 units, and this is what this is, for one rod, and moves the rod over to the tens place, which is exactly what he did. He adds up the tens place value, 5 plus 2 plus 1. We've got the 5. We've got the two, and this one is from the ones place. And that equals eight. He adds up the hundreds place value, two plus three, two plus one, excuse me, equals three. The sum is 383. And then here's Josh's addition. Josh starts with the ones place, seven plus six equals 13. The one in the 13 represents a 10, so it moves over to the tens place. The three is written in the ones place of the sum. Josh adds up the tens place. One plus five plus two equals eight. Josh adds up the hundreds place. Two plus one equals three. 
The sum is 383. Now, here's all three of them together. What do you notice? I went ahead and highlighted things to kind of help you out. In each one of these, we're adding place value at a time. So in the, the reds are the hundreds. So we're adding the hundreds place value here. The hundreds, the hundreds. The yellow is the tens. We have a tens, we have tens, we have tens. And, and all three of them, we're adding up one place value at a time. And the ones is the blue. Ones and ones and ones. Again, we're adding each place value at a time. Uh, that it doesn't matter which method you choose to use. You will be adding place value at a time. Um, and just when you are making your responses, please make sure that you talk about adding the hundreds. You talk about adding the tens. You talk about adding the ones. It doesn't have to be in that order, but please make sure you focus on each one of the place values. Okay, and that should be it.